بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سردار خان ہیر اور نیکسٹ ٹاپک تو جائے دی کے میپس یوزنگ میکس ٹرم سو رائٹ سو لیٹ می رائٹ اٹ ڈاؤن کے میپس یوزنگ میکس ٹرم سو رائٹ اینڈ یو نو واٹ آر میکس ٹرم اف یو ڈونٹ نو یو واچ دی ویڈیو آن پروڈکٹ آف سم فارم آل رائٹ Now, we've seen the K-maps using min terms where we did what? We, we grouped once, all right? Now, here in max term, what's the difference? The difference is that here we group zeros, all right? So here we group what? Group zeros. And the rest of the procedure is the same with only one change. We have a change which we'll be discussing when we are going through an example. So the basics is what? That you group zeros in that case. The same priority. You look for a 16 group, uh, group of 16 zeros. You look for a group of 8 zeros. You look for a group of 2 zeros. 4 zeros, 2 zeros. And one could also be treated, okay? So rest is the same. So let's say we move directly to an example. Let's say an, uh, a function is given uh, a three variable function is given, let's say, with min terms one, two, and four. A, a three variable function is given, A, B, C, with the max terms what? Uh, one, two, zero, one, and three, sorry. 0, 1, and 3. Okay, so how do you solve it now? Now you know for the three, uh, three variables you have, I choose the power 3 is 8 input combinations and you, can, you have an 8 cells map. So these are your 8 cells. Alright, let's say... So this is 0, 1. Then we have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. And this is your A, and this is your B, C. Now, what of them are, 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 are uh, the max terms are given? So this is a 0, you know. So this is 0. Then you have the first. This is 2, and this is 3, all right? And the rest, if they're not a 0, so they will be a 1, definitely, okay? So this, let's say... If you want to place a 1 or if you don't want to place it, that doesn't matter, all right? When you have a larger map, so you don't place the opposites. In this case, here we are discussing the max term, so you don't place it once. So the map will look a little tidier, okay? So it will not be a mess. Now, we don't have a group of uh, 16s, we don't have a group of 8s, we don't have a group of 4s, but we can have a group of 2s, all right? So let's say this is my first group of two zeros, all right? And let me write it down first so then you don't confuse it. So the function would be y. Now in this case, the difference that I was talking about is this. That in the min term, you're taking the function's value y, so therefore you write that f directly, the function. But here we're taking the function's value as a low, because max term is low, so you write the function in its complemented form. All right, and why is that? Because we are taking here the function's value zero. The max term is that term at which the function's value is zero. So when you're considering that, you have to take the function's complement, all right? And the rest procedure is now the same. This would now be equal to A is not changing and B is not changing. And they are both as a zero not changing, so we have A complement, B complement, all right? Now, or with the, in the second group, what is the second group? This one. So, in this group, what is not changing? Now we see. So, again, A is not changing in its complement form. We have A complement, and then uh, C is not changing now. All right, now to remove this complement, what do you do? You apply the De Morgan's law. De Morgan's law. And what does this do? So this you are, have a complement, then you have a complement, and then the whole complement of this thing, A complement, B complement, plus A complement, C, whole complement, all right? 
Now the complement of a complement you know is back F and over here you have A or with B so that will be A complement and it with a B complement alright. So this would be an A, uh, this is the A term, A complement and it with B complement. Now again the De Morgan's law at this side, at the right side, so the function would be what? It would be A uh, plus B because it will be A complement complement and then you have a B complement complement. So this would be an A plus B and into A plus C complement. Alright, now what do you do? You apply the distributive law, the distributive law so what do you get you get an a plus b into a plus c is what it's a plus b c so let me write it down over here so the function's value is a plus b c directly this is the answer okay now let us cross check let us uh, group the the ones in this case all right so 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 we have the four four ones over here this is the first group and this one would be the second group. Alright, so, so what do we have in this case? Now the function is, is what? Uh, in this case, A is not changing. A is not changing for the horizontal row. And for the, for the vertical column, you have a B not changing as a 1 and C not changing in a 0. So you have B and then you have C complement, which is in accordance to this one, alright? Okay, now let's say we have another example. Uh, let's say we are given a function, uh, a four variable function A, B, C, and D, and is given in the summation form 1, 3, 5, 1, 3, 4, 5, 9, 11, 1, 3, 4, 5, 9, 11, and then we have plus a don't care 14 and 15. Now how to solve this using max terms, all right? So it is given in the summation form of min terms, all right? So you know the, the others are max terms. So you remove this, which means our given function is what? The given function is an A, B, C, D, and this is equal to product of max term what? You have a 0, uh, then 2, 3, 4, 5, then you have 6, uh, and uh, 7, 8, 9, and 10, and 11, 12, and, and 13 also. So I write it here. Uh, and I close the bracket, and you have plus the don't care are the same that are 14 and 15. Is that clear? Okay, now I, I, I remove this part of it. Okay, I move this question also, and now we have our space. So now what do you do? You draw 2 to the power 4 is equal to 16 uh, variables uh, map. So 16 cells K map, you have like this. 1, 2, 3 and 4, right? And now in the horizontal rooms, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now this is your AB and this is your CG. So we have a 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Then you have 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. All right? So now filling them, okay? So you have the max term 0 as a 0. Max term 1, 2 is 0. Then you have 3, then 4, 5, 6, and 7 are 0. This is 6, this is 7. Then this is 8, 9, uh, 10 is 0. This is 11, 12 is this one. Then you have 13 as 0, 12 is this one, 13 is this one, 13 is this one, and then you have 14 this one and 15 this one. So now 14 and 15 are don't cares. They are don't cares, all right, X. Now if you are, if we are using the max term, so we need these don't cares as a 0, so I write them this don't care as a 0. All right, now this is the final. So you have zero, zero, zero. Uh, okay. Uh, so so just let me cross check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I have missed one, and I believe I missed uh, zero, one, two, then three, then four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight I missed. Yes, eight. So this eight is also zero. This position is eight. Okay. The max term eight. Now it's fine. Okay. So now you group. So first, one, uh, zero, one, two. Okay, zero, one, and this is two. This is not two. I made a lot of mistakes in this video, okay? So let us cross check again. Zero, then one, then two, and then three. Then four, five, then we have six, seven, okay? Then eight and nine is not here. So eight, nine. No, this is not, uh, no, no, sorry. This is eight. eight. Then 9, then we have 10, 11 is not here, 12 and 13, and 14, 15, 20. now it's correct, okay, now it's absolutely correct. Now you do what you group, you group, uh, uh, so first you go for a group of four zeros, which is over here, the corners. So the corners. So let's say first we write that we don't confuse it again, okay. So now in this, what is not changing, all right? So we have a look. Uh, a is changing from 0 to 1, but B is not changing. So we have B in its complement form, B complement. And then uh, C is also changing from 0 to 1, and D is not changing in its complement form. So B complement, D complement. All right. Now you can have a group of four zeros over here. If you treat this as zero, so you have this zeros for group. All right, so what is not changing in it? We have a B, we have B, and then in this we have a C not changing. All right, and now finally, this is the last group again of four one, four zeros, so we can have this group, the horizontal. So what is not changing? It's A, B, and in the vertical all of them are changing so this is the final answer okay but this is not the final answer I told you about a common mistake everybody does and I've made it again this would be in its complement form this function all right so now to remove this complement you need to apply the De Morgan's law to both sides so you apply it over here and over here also now the complement of a complement would be uh, the function f and now uh, this would now be into an A complement, into B complement, into C complement. So you have a A complement into B complement into C complement. And now again, F is equal to, so you apply it inside, you have B plus D into, you have a B complement plus C complement and then you have a complement plus b complement now this is the final answer okay so that's all about it now uh, let's say i give you a homework problem let's say we have a function which is given in the mean terms form we have one three four five uh, nine eleven fourteen and fifteen all right, so this is similar to this, but I've removed the don't care and I've placed it in the main terms. And you solve this what? Using max terms, okay? So you solve it using max terms and you let me know the answer in the comment section, all right? So that's all about key maps using max terms. I believe these two examples are enough for understanding. What's the difference? In main terms, you, you group the ones and you take the function directly. In, in, in uh, using max terms, you take group of zeros and you take the complement of the function. All right, so let me write down here complement of the function. Complement of the function. All right, so that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Tell then take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.